So how do you cut and tuck cheap plush carpet up to the dreaded quarter round molding? What's good everybody? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm going to show you DIY types how to cut carpet up to the quarter round molding and tuck it without losing your mind. So as you've seen there, right, first things first, I made a little release cut down the side and then I folded it back, basically cutting this roughly a quarter inch hefty. And then we're gonna take a hook knife and just tuck it right up against the quarter round molding here. Now it's kind of like a science and an art at the same time, not really, but it is to getting that cut just right and tucking it in without losing your mind. You cut it too short, you get an ugly gap. You cut it hefty, you just can't tuck it to that quarter round and you lose your mind. So let's get a little more of a close up here so you can see exactly how I'm cutting it there, but kind of like the quarter inch cut is the rule of thumb there. So just take your time. We're cutting right up to that about maybe quarter inch hefty, just enough so we can cram it down in there and it's gonna look beautiful when it's all said and done there. So let's get that out of the way. Get rid of any strings, we're good to go. Couple more, boom, boom. All right, let's get that hook knife and just slowly but surely work your way into tucking all that into the quarter round molding there. Now, you could also use wall trimmers, but you're a DIY type of individual, you're not gonna wanna spend an extra $65 on a tool you're gonna use once or twice in your life and then instantly have it devalued and never sold again. It'll just sit on your shelf. If you're into it, cool, go ahead and get that. But for the rest of the world that wants to use just a knife and a hook knife, you're good to go because you'll use those multiple times throughout your DIY adventures there. So we're coming up on the end of the wall here. Just cut that off, quarter inch hefty, work it down all the way down, slowly but surely. And then when you're done, you could even give it a little swoop with your knife all the way down just to give it a nice even flow. Brush away any of the fibers with your hand just to make sure you tucked it all evenly and everything is ready to rock. Let's do another wall though, just to make sure we're getting this right and everything will be flawless when it's all said and done. So we're on another wall here. Once again, you gotta make that little release cut there. And the reason we do that is because if you try to fold the whole piece back, in many cases, you'll actually pull it off of the tack strip from the pressure of the whole wall being pressed down on. So you cut a little section out, roughly two to three feet wide, then you fold it back. There's not a lot of pressure on it. Then you just take your time and tuck everything in then move forward by cutting out a nice little section to work with again. Now here's another little trick you could do, and I've showed this in other videos, whereas if you cut it, let's say in half inch hefty, and you're just trying to tuck it in, but it looks like a hot mess, this, that, and the other, tuck it as best as possible, then take your knife and just shave that little excess off. So pros about this, it's a great way to save from cutting off your fingertips. The cons to this, it could mark up your baseboards when you do this. So just keep that in mind. If you have really beautiful baseboards, you may not want to do it. If it's old baseboards that have 40 layers of paint on them already, go for it. It'll hide in there. You'll be good to go. So we're working our way down this wall here. Got the next section shaped out, tucking in everything evenly. Going to give it a little swoop with the knife there. Work our way down to where our last point was. Boom, boom. Brush all the fibers away. Make sure everything's tucked evenly. Let's get down to the nitty gritty here. We're gonna split this. Oh no, oh yes. I didn't even know what I did there. So there we go. Made a little release to make a nice manageable section. Fold it back. Trim and tuck, trim and tuck. That's all there is to it. Cutting that about a quarter inch hefty. All right, everything's looking good. Get our tuck knife out, work it down. I know this is so tedious. I appreciate you sitting this out with me here, but it's the reality. You want to know every aspect of the flooring business? We are going to cover every single aspect of the flooring business. So you know the deal here. We're going to lob off this last little section, tuck it in. Everything's going to be phenomenal. So if you have any questions, you know to comment below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll connect with you on this next video. <laughs>